a quick statement of a man I also have great respect for, Justice Anthony. You know who I'm talking about. Justice Kennedy will be uh, retiring. And he is a man that uh, I've known for a long time and a man that I've respected for a long time. He's been a great justice of the Supreme Court. He, uh, he is uh, a man who is displaying great vision. He's displayed tremendous vision and tremendous heart. And he will be missed, uh, but he will be retiring. And we will begin our search for a new justice of the United States Supreme Court that will begin immediately. And hopefully, we're going to pick somebody who will be as outstanding. So I just want to uh, thank Justice Kennedy for the years of tremendous service. Uh, he's a, uh, a very spectacular man, really a spectacular man. And I know that he will be around, hopefully, for a long time to advise. And, and uh, I believe he's going to be teaching and doing other things. So thank you to Justice Kennedy. Okay. Thank you. Who will you pick to replace him, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have, uh, obviously, uh, numerous people. We have a list of 25 people that I actually had during my election. I had to 20, and as you know, I added five uh, a little while ago. Uh, we have a, a very uh, excellent list of great talented, highly educated, highly intelligent, hopefully uh, uh, tremendous people. I think the list is very outstanding. When I was running, I, I put down uh, a list of 20 people. Because not being a politician, I think people wanted to uh, hear what some of my choices may be. And it was pretty effective. And um, I think you see the kind of quality that we're looking at when you look at that list. Uh, but I, I did add, I added five uh, additional people to the list. So it will be somebody from that list. So we have now boiled it down to about 25 people. And, sir, when did you find out? The World Cup of President Putin to the final? Yes, uh, no, I, I, I will tell you, we fought very hard to get it here. Uh, I think they're doing a fantastic job with the World Cup right now. Uh, it's in Russia, and I will tell you that it's exciting. My son loves soccer, and he loves watching the World Cup, and they have really done a fantastic job. Uh, with the World Cup. It's exciting, even if you're a non-soccer fan. I'm a soccer fan a little bit, but I don't have much time. What are you rooting for? But, uh, well, I, I just, I'm rooting for everybody to do well. But I think the uh, venue has been fantastic. They really have shown something very special. I fought very hard to get it for the United States, Mexico, and Canada, as you probably have heard. And uh, we were honored to be chosen. And, uh, this is a great gentleman and a great soccer fan, too. But we uh, we were very honored to be chosen for the World Cup. So we look forward to that. Mr. President, will you meet with President Putin, sir? And where? Uh, most likely. John and Bolton is over there now. Uh, he's over in Russia right now. Uh, I just saw, watching media, that uh, he's, uh, he's met with President Putin. I haven't gotten the full report yet, but uh, it would look like we will probably be meeting sometime in the not-too-distant future. Uh, and I've said it from day one, getting along with Russia and with China and with everybody is a very good thing. It's good for the world, it's good for us, it's good for everybody. Uh, so we'll probably be meeting sometime uh, around my trip to Europe. Do you know where? Uh, it not, hasn't been determined yet. Uh, probably mm -hmm. I will know within an hour. And what about the injunction on immigration? Will you fight that? The California judge who says reunited families must be put together. Well, we're going to see. But we believe that families should be together also. So there's not a lot to fight. But How do you we guarantee believe, that? We believe families have to be together. But what we really do is we believe in very strong borders, no crime, and the Democrats believe in open borders and plenty of crime, because that's what you get with the open borders. Uh, I would like to introduce, however, the president of Portugal. And I'm sorry to bother you, but it, in our country, uh, the selection of a justice of the United States Supreme Court is considered, I think we can all say, one of the, one of the most important events, one of the most important things for our country. I mean, you see the decisions that just came down, how big they are, how vital they are. And uh, they can swing different ways, depending on who it might, who there might be in the court. So it's always been considered a tremendous, uh, a tremendously important 
things. Some people think outside of, obviously, war and peace is the most, most important thing that you could have. 